habits it's not what we do annually it's not what we do once in a month what we do every day that makes difference our habits define the quality of our life so in today's video i am going to mention five habits which you should develop which you must develop if you really want to live a healthy life and yes the day i encountered these five beautiful habits yes i developed these five habits and i have seen drastic changes in my life i know there are plenty of videos there are plethora of videos and they are telling you about habits right but it's not what you watch it's what you implement that makes difference now it's up to you after watching this video you are going to develop these habits or not so without wasting your precious time let's directly dive into it just learn to be silence just learn to observe things okay earlier it was sounding counterintuitive to me like you know being in silence observing th observing things it was not making sense to me this world is a big chaos and today with technology right with everything the world is bombarding with knowledge and we are in chaos every day i want you to start with 5 minutes just sit in a place where no one is there where you are not doing anything you are just sitting i would say go to your terrace and just try to be sit quietly there and don't do anything listen i have started doing this beautiful thing the answers you want okay whatever wherever you are stuck in automatically you will start getting answers of your thing if you try to sit in silence and please learn how to observe you know what we have completely forgotten you know the power of observing earlier you know people were like that just by seeing someone they were able to understand they were able to observe right but now we don't observe i want you to just develop this beautiful ha habit of observing simply you know go in your room there are a lot of things i want you to observe everything observe everything and whenever you are sitting in a quiet place maybe in the terrace or of some or somewhere simply observe everything what is going on in your surroundings how that works if you don't want to check how it works simply observe shape texture fragrance everything just taste it i don't know if you have tasted this thing or not yet but i would say please try it you know there is a beautiful practice which people really want to do which people really want to develop and that's meditation i want to know you have not even developed you know this beautiful habit of being in silence then meditation is far away right so first simply learn how to be in silence then you will learn somewhere you know the beautiful habit of meditation habit number 4 habit of journaling i don't know today's world they have completely forgotten the habit of pen and paper they don't use pen and paper they don't write anything i don't know how firmly thoroughly they believe in their memory i would say don't trust your memory okay so today's generation has completely forgotten to use pen and paper per day we get 50 to 70000 thoughts in our head how we are going to get to know that what is important for us right so you know what when we do journaling when we write things on paper we show red flags to those 50 to 70000 thoughts that hey look see these things are important for me and then your sub subconscious mind is is going to focus on only those things which you are going to write you have no idea how many beautiful things how many beautiful ideas you easily easily let go why because you don't write i have even seen people regretting that they say wow what a beautiful idea oh my god my habit i don't write and that's why i forget i don't know if this idea will be with me still after realizing they don't write and in this way you have no idea how easily you are letting these ideas go you know what per year you get seven ideas 
and out of those seven ideas one idea can change your life but you know what's the problem is you don't even capture that one single idea then how it is going to change your life anyway you don't even capture these ideas you just let these ideas go very easily listen earlier writing was not making sense to me but now you have no idea how drastically writing is changing my life i am becoming so decisive just because of writing yeah i write i do write lot of things now i know it might be counter intuitive for you now you might be thinking what should i write listen you have not developed your habit yet so you are not going to understand i would say start from today just have just buy a notebook so listen write everything write your plans write your to do list write vocabularies write idea whatever idea is coming in your mind write any problem which is going in your you know life nowadays just write that question just write whatever you are not able to come up with write what you have learned from a particular book write what you have learned from this day just start writing i can show you 2 3 years back i have notebooks and you have no idea sometimes i la laugh you know that oh my god what i used to write it was that time i was not making sense but today yes it makes lot of sense whatever write whatever i write okay so please do start journaling from today and you are going to get to know very soon that how it is going to change your life okay okay habit number 3 and which yeah third and which sounds very trivial very basic but can i tell you one thing because of this majority is not able to achieve what they actually want to achieve and habit number 3 is habit of moving habit of moving so what you do simply you don't just beat your laziness you beat your procrastination when you move your brain grooves your brain loves to be in this activity you have no idea how your brain works when you move okay majority is not able to do things most of the time they delay little little things yeah i can understand mostly they delay goals they delay dreams they procrastinate because of judgment because of fear but the biggest reason is their laziness okay they procrastinate they delay and the reason which i have encountered they are not able to manage their time their energy and their will by the way i will come up with a video where you are going to understand it how to manage your will time and energy okay here i would say if you move your body okay if you move your body you are easily able to manage these three things your energy your will okay time can be little bit different okay it can be out from this set but i would say your will and your energy you easily manage when you move okay so i would say whenever you get time when you are just you know waking up early when you are just going to bed i would say every time be like a child every time if you can do 50 push ups do if you can do 100 sit ups do if you can jump 100 times do and this is enough to kill your laziness what you have to do simply you need a good fast circulation blood circulation in your body right let me tell you i know it sounds so trivial but you have no idea how this thing puts me in like you know right mood so whenever i feel little lazy do you know what i do two things by the way first i never forget to drink water why because only two things we need in order to kill our laziness what first is obviously we have to be hydrate right and second circulation in our body right and which is going to give us energy so what i do simply you won't believe every time whenever i feel lazy just a glass of water and another thing i jump 100 times i do jump 100 times okay time sometimes i do sit ups so in this way you have no idea how i feel that i have shifted my energy can i tell you one thing the things which seems easy is not easy actually now you might be thinking oh, what the hell she is telling us that drink water do exercise i want to know one thing do you do it first thing okay so the things which seems easy is not easy by the way if i ask do you drink water how many glasses of water do you drink one or two i know right if i ask how many times you move in a day you know only how many times you move right so listen only two things i would suggest here 
first simply place a bottle okay if you want to drink like whatever three liters or four liters simply just put a bottle on your table and just say okay my target is today's target is i am going to complete i'm going to drink this you know whole water you have no idea that's how i have built my habit of drinking water simply place a bottle and your target is i am going to you know drink this you know whole water second thing is just try to develop this beautiful habit whenever you are waking up you are going you are feeling like lazy simply 100 times jump okay or you can do 50 push ups okay or you can do ups and down there are many things like planks and all you can do but i'm telling you it is going to shift your you know mood it is going to shift the way you feel it is going to shift the way you do things the second beautiful habit which i really want you to develop is habit of reading books now you might be thinking seriously you have no idea how reading books can change the way you think you know what you learn how to see things you learn how to see problems you learn how to see opinion with different different perspectives do you know some people are with very rigid mindset right but i believe when you read books you learn that how we can see things with different different perspective not just this when you read books believe it or not you become decisive you have no idea earlier i was very indecisive i used to take a lot of time to think about things but you have no idea seriously i don't even have words to tell you how reading books can open your mind in this way you learn how to think with different perspectives you learn how to see things with different different perspective and then you are decisive so your understanding level is going to become really way too deeper one more thing i would not just say that just read book try to implement whatever you are reading you kill two birds with one stone okay so if you are working on this language first thing is this how you are killing two birds with one stone first you are getting you know beautiful knowledge and side by side you are putting your mouth muscles into english practice okay and that's how you are killing two birds with one stone now let's move for the habit number one so habit number one is habit of planning you know i have seen many people they don't run their days actually their days are running them do you know what they don't know that what i'm going to do next what i'm going to do in next day what i'm going to do in next you know hour what i'm going to do next week what i'm going to do next month actually they are they are not running their time their time is running them okay and in this way yes things people situations circumstances everything is taking them you know is taking them somewhere where they actually don't want to go but i would say if you plan where my minute second year month week decade is going i believe now you are going in your direction where you want to go i don't know how people run their day without planning i don't know why sometimes we try to be so superior that i know what i'm going to do next day no you can't be that flexible in life that yes you know i will check what i'll do tomorrow no you can't i would say find those top 10 activities what are those top 10 activities which are going to add value in your life what are those top 10 activities is watching movie is going to change your life is doing chit chat with unnecessary people is going to change your life what are your top 10 activities i would say simply add those top 10 activities in front of your timings okay is exercise is going to change you reading book is going to change you working on communication is going to change you right what else is going to change you what are those top 10 activities you can add in your to do list which is going to add value in your life so i just want i just want to know from you now what are those activities which you do every day and if you tell me your activities i can easily tell your direction where these activities are taking you because as i have already mentioned the things which you do every day yes these things are these things are going to define your destiny that where you are going to be tomorrow where you will be after a year where you will be in 5 years so i can understand you are a human being you are going to get tired right many things are going to happen fluctuations will be there but you can't make excuses like kids right simply make your to do list at 10 
task which are going to add value do follow them every day i am telling you in this way these habit these activities are going to become your habit believe it or not i have my 10 top 10 activities okay which i do every day and i thoroughly believe i firmly believe that yes these activities are going to take me somewhere in life okay so these are the five activities i want you to follow i want you to develop as soon as you can okay because again it's not what you do annually what you do every day that makes difference in life okay so with this thing do develop this five habits and if you think this video has added any value in your life so please Give thumbs up, share your lovely comments, and don't forget to subscribe this channel if you are new here.